Welcome to Memorial Stadium and the sea of red in the heartland of Lincoln, Nebraska. An uncommon place and home to an uncommon program with a championship pedigree. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the UTEP Miners, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Day joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Miners will kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Cornhuskers offense will get the first swing of the game. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB, toasting, pass-catching, touchdown scoring. Woo! Son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. Going to have to be really careful trying to cover that dude. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. The give to the back. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass, it's Rayola. Looking for a deep man. He's got it down the right side. He's off to the races. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Nebraska! And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees this guy, and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And they finish it with a fair, a 77 yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Miners offense will try to get something going with their first possession. This crowd. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Back to pass, it's McConnell. He finds a soft spot in the middle. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And frankly, if that's a completion, it's not going to make the end of season highlight reel. But in this game, it could lead to a highlight reel type play. The offensive coordinator may be setting something big up for later in the game. Looking for that first down on 30 short from the 28. They'll try to get it through the air. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. 
The Miners will punt this one away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. He tried to make something out of nothing, but there was really nothing he could do on that play. And I hope offensively that's not going to make them quit on this option play. That, that's a scheme that really puts the defense in a bind. If I were them, I wouldn't let that play stop them from trying to run it later in this game. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman, getting to the running back? Cat-like quickness. And the Huskers will send out the punt unit. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back to go with a fresh possession. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to go option. They're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays. Now to try to throw it in drive on third down. To the air. It's McConnell. They're trying to get to it. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. That's why as a defense, it's so important to win early downs. You win first and second down, you set up third and long. Now you can pin your ears back and get after the QB. And the Miners will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Now a fair catch is called for it made just shy of midfield. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one, David. To me, that starts with being the more physical team. Well, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. Inside the 25. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off of it, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and just spread me out and make me defend so many things, and you can tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10 to the ground with the back. They make the stop, and they give up five yards on the run. It's down to the 11. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. 
going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Back to throw. It's Rayola. He caught it. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And on that situation on the one-yard line, the defense brings so many guys. Palmer gets in the backfield, creates the negative play. Yeah, I think we're seeing the overall athleticism of this defense. They've got guys flying to the ball. Got it back on second and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Husker! Up and over, Yabo be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it off with the score from the four. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Gets it out quickly. At the 40, there he goes. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Using his legs, it's Jackson. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking to throw, it's McConnell. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short on first down. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. What that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing them off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. 
They'll try the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger. And you can tell they pull the trigger so fast. Get to the back. Get him on the ground quickly. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Nebraska is on top. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Scanning the field, it's McConnell. Working that left side now. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. He's got it. Touchdown, Utah! And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead, but they still have plenty of work to do. Yeah, they do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half where you're fighting to come back by so many points. So great job getting points. Get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. The AT unit on the field. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. Bringing it back. And the returner will be dragged down. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something just flying through the air like a superhero to make a grab. Got open on the post and then had no regard for his body in making that catch. Exactly right. You know you're going to get hit a lot of times coming over the middle of the field, but he Runs that post, lays out, makes the play for his quarterback. That's a tough ombre. The give to the back. Nice move to stay on his feet. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. To throw, it's Rayola. Finds his tight end. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Running back searching for a hole. Running with power. The Cornhuskers are stopped, but not before getting the first down. When you're called Cornhuskers, you're like a big red thrashing machine, and you're going to get it done on the ground. Just going to chew up the ground yards. Just going to eat you up, play physical, be different. And that's what Nebraska fans want. Throw back to the old days, the glory days, and they want some of that here in this recent history. The run game just has not been working for this offense. 
defense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give to the tailback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Fires to the wideout. And it falls incomplete, and the offense is lucky to have it. Defender right there, almost had it in his grasp. Smart offensive coordinators, they're going to throw deep balls, especially those 50-50 balls you hear about all the time. My wide receiver is better than your DB. Well, not on this play. The Huskers will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. The give out of the gun. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The inside handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. job protecting their quarterback give them a split second more time to complete that throw but they couldn't do it then the miners send out the punt unit a fair catch taken just inside the 40 yard line the Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense they'll have another up Opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Solid pick up a four on first down. It's second and six. They'll leave it with him. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? They'll try to run for it. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestling down short of the first down. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. To the air, it's McConnell. Spins away from the defender. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Looking at a second and short now. A 
off play action. They're bringing heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Tough linebackers getting after quarterbacks. The Huskers have a rich tradition of that. Yeah, and you think about the black shirts, and you hear that if you're a Nebraska fan, you know exactly what that means. Guys that are different, guys that see it, that hunt it, that go get the football like this guy just did. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Got it in stride inside the 20. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, UTEP! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up to add another. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes with a quick strike up top covering 79 yards. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to throw, it's Rayola. A little release to the back. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Got his man quickly. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And the Huskers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And the incomplete pass, taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. You hear about shot plays all the time. Offensive coordinators love to take deep shots down the field. They plan them. They plan when they're going to do them, and I bet you will plan to see a few more throughout this game. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Working that left side. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. The receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Looking for a man. It's Rayola. He's got his man. 
And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand that the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a space. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Ooh, quarterback lucky that one wasn't picked. You got to be really careful down here in the red zone because these windows are small and defenders close on the ball. That one should have been an INT. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. And this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. The Cornhuskers will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They want to throw it. He just got rid of that one to save the down. Didn't see anything he liked. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. Pushes ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. One more on their score. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Looking to throw, it's McConnell. Got a man. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Pressure. He'll take a deep shot here. And it's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Miners! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Number three. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Getting set for the point after. And it's perfect. 
Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they light up the scoreboard covering 65 yards on that touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Referee signals timeout as the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Trying to beat him to the corner on the right. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it that time to hand it off and pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. Wants to throw. It's Rayola. The quick out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. This offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. Looking to go up top on first down. Deep shot for the end zone. And the pass is incomplete, and there's a penalty flag down, and no big secret why that receiver was being mauled by the defender. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. That is no good. And here in the second quarter, missed field goal leaves us tight, guys. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very interesting first two quarters in Lincoln. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. The Huskers will kick it away to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Kind of like that big, reliable security. 
that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw, it's McConnell. He can't haul it in, incomplete. He had him on the crossing route, and he dropped it. Great job by the defense there. They weren't surprised by that play call there on third and short. They were expecting pass. They took everything away and forced the incompletion. And the Miners will punt it away on fourth down. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Makes a move. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Floyd. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I really like the slot receiver. I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Goodness, great. that is the way you blow up a play quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hair on fire, cause direct. That had to be a blown assignment. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Nebraska! An epic comeback. They'll talk about this one forever if they can hold on, but they're on top right now. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something to take it out. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 54 yards with the explosive play in the passing game for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. He'll come out throwing on first down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Let's see if they go back to the air on second and ten from the 28. Dropping back, it's McConnell. The throw to the outside is complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route the whole offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. already punted four times in this game and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here on third and long he has to throw for it he's got his man across the middle so important to convert these third downs and they get it done they'll have it at the 42 well this tight end can run these crossing patterns and he can catch the ball against man coverage or zone coverage that time nice job seeing the ball in helping his QB out the Miners getting set on first and ten. He wants to throw it again. He hurls one deep down the left side. It's a big stride inside the ten. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. 
And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. And the Miners are moving quickly down the field. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. And he has had a long day at the office, not to mention the backfield, as the defense has been all over him. So loud as rattling your feelings on third and goal. Dropping back, it's McConnell. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Utah! Touchdown, Utah. Receivers do this every day, all day. Throw it up. I will go get it. I will stay in bounds. Nice job knowing where he was at on the field to get that foot in bounds, to get the big touchdown for this offense. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point was made without incident, and we're tied up here in the third. They marched 72 yards, and they capped things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Swings it out to the flat. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. What's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. That last completion sets him up on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll go to the ground. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Now, fourth down. And the Huskers decide to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Tap has the ball in the minor offense, ready to go to work. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
that play had zero shot. They got to do a better job up front, create some running legs. The running back before he could go anywhere, get tackled, nowhere to go. Here comes his home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to throw, it's McConnell. He lobs one high down the left side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, pass incomplete. The Miners line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front. He's taking the shot. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Power football with the run. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll put the tight end in motion. The play action fake. He unleashes a long one. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers and he couldn't hold on. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Cornhuskers will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20 yard line. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter with him. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. This has been a tight one. Third quarter, all tied up. It's now second and ten. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. This time he's got it. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Blasted as he lets it go. The RPO, it's complete. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Toss sweep right. Jukes his way for more. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a, a manageable situation. This offense has a second down play. To the air. It's McConnell. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on it, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that they tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. 
finds his big tight end. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Miners will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Smith. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They fought tooth and nail through three, and it is all locked up as we take a look at the stats. This is when winning plays are made, and we start right now in the fourth. First and ten. He's going to pass. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. He was fortunate to get that one back to the line of scrimmage at the five. No gain on the play. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Looking for a man. It's McConnell. Pocket starts to collapse. Under heat and he gets rid of it. And the misconnection on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. And he missed it. No good. And in the final quarter of regulation, we remain tied, guys. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. Might as well give it to him again. A run up the middle is stopped for no game. A nice job by the defense. A draw is kind of a trick, you know, get you to run upfield, but they sniffed it out, did a great job, stopped the play for no game. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Give to the running back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. 
And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. There's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Perez. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Quickly out to the tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I think that time offensively, we're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit and let's keep going. It's now second down after the short completion. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen. Instead, nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Fires left. Pulls it in. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. From the gun, the ground game. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. To the ground. He's got it again. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's McConnell. Throws to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires on the move. Complete downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. You know, you're seeing in college football now with spread offense and tempo and air raid. We're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick, quick game is so good, and then you take shots when you get matchups, and you see tight. He'll take a shot. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. He had him open there, and I know this quarterback expects to make that throw. It's a tough throw because, again, you got a couple steps on the guy. That's not wide open. These DBs are so fast, but that is a throw that you do expect a guy like that, that caliber, to be able to play a little pitch and catch and make that happen. Fires to the wideout. Snags it. Touchdown, UTEP. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, 
Yeah, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They took it 71 yards down the field, and the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. He'll pull it on the read. Makes him talk to the hand. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Well, the design QB run is now a staple play in college football, and it's because they get more blockers involved. And when you got athletes like this playing the quarterback position, it's a no-brainer. Just let him go do work. You saw on that play. They'll start this. This one from the 29 on first down. Leaves it with the back. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The RPO, fire complete to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and ten. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Caught behind the line. It's Fidel. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover and pick up the first. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing it. They'll run for it on third and short. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark on this one, tote in the rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. The Huskers will line it up on first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. Using that running game to bludge and forward. He's got four down to the 35. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack. Throw the ball away. Now, listen, we can debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So, you know what? Nice throwaway, QB. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play-action attempt.
We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Looking deep. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They'll go to the counter. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. And the quarterback's just going to take a knee. 